manage our money is one of those ongoing processes. It's one of those day-by-day -day elements that can be a defining element in our marriage. Mm. Benza and Sandra tell us how they manage their money. Contact us at info at ifyoulovemeco.uk if you have any questions. Thank you for joining us today. We have a joint bank account. <laughs> Do you handle money? I mean, we're really in a, a different situation because we have a first time round, a second time round. If there are differences, that would be of high, high interest to me. Mm. Ah. The first time round, we had separate uh, bank accounts and a joint bank account. Yeah. Um, and the joint bank yeah. account was which we put all the household bills and the mortgage yeah, and, the and all the other and and yeah. Yeah. And all that Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then of course, I guess it would have carried on like that and then we got divorced and then on the remarriage we um, we just still have separate bank accounts now and from mm -hmm. that we have the responsibility to pay uh, separate bills um, uh, and it just yeah. seems to work okay. Split bills or do you do you do the electric and you do the water or? Uh, we, we split it's yeah we split the bills but uh, yeah. basically i mean you know it's um you know out of one account the mortgage is paid out of the other account um the have the um um utility bills yeah. and uh, um, other do you feel that um my money is mine and your money is yours Not it's an important question that because a lot of people get quite funny about it no because no. We're actually very open about um, what we're paying for, and mm -hmm. it's it actually all right. May not work in all cases, but it works in in our case. Um, mm -hmm. And it's um, where Sandra has her money, I have yeah. my money, and we because we split the the household bills all and everything else and the responsibilities between who's us. Who's paying for what? Mm -hmm. Then you know whatever's left in mm -hmm. each other's account is their own to. Um, use in whatever fashion they want to, so long as um, the you know the joint we, bills are met. The joint bills are met, and everything else is met. Do you feel like you both would have the same philosophies towards finances? Oh yes, I, I think we. I mean, I, I, when we had the joint the joint um, bank account, and our monies would be transferred into the joint bank account, it meant that we knew that the bills were being paid. Yes. Um, so that. Um, and we have our set responsibilities as <clears> to um, okay, this money set aside to buy shopping, um, this money set aside for savings. Um, so yeah, I think we we're like-minded in that. Okay, yeah. let me ask you a good question because when it, it's a, when it's a question of philosophy, for example, if you were going to do an investment pro portfolio of let's say a hundred thousand pounds or something like that, mm -hmm. now you know that you have low risk factor, medium risk factor, and oh, high okay. risk factor. Now, do you think that you would both be in the same sort of category, like low, medium, and high? Do you feel like you would, philosophically speaking, with your money? Well, yes, we we are very um, conservative when it comes to mm -hmm. um, money. We're not too, high right? risk. Mike Benzer and Sandra's take on finances, allowing creative independence whilst preserving their teamwork. Next week, Larry and I will be talking about how we arrange our finances. And as I married an accountant, this promises to be interesting. See you then. God bless and bye for now.